Hi everybody. I recently discovered something that's really cool and I thought I'd share it with you. Now by no means did I invent this. I just kind of like played around. Went to a thrift store the other day and picked up a few things here and there and um, I found these stacks of uh, tile ceramic tile and someone had glued a cord cork to the bottom so there were great uh, coasters and I wanted to paint on them but I was trying to get the glaze off which is impossible so I gave up on that and I decided to try uh, alcohol inks but since I don't have any um, I had to uh, find an alternative to that. So what do I have this ink and alcohol? It's Sharpies. Sharpies, yes. And uh, what happened was I saw a little video or something, something cute for kids to do with uh, tiles and Sharpies and I thought, hmm, but I could do that. So this is what I did. Now I don't have a yellow Sharpie. I have these, these, uh, these are the fine tip, fine point Sharpies, which they work, but you're going to be coloring forever. So these are the only two fat ones I have, except for the black, and I don't want to deal with the back. But I do have a highlighter, which is also alcohol-based um, marker. So let me see. I want to make sure I am in the shot here. I just want to show you something really cool. So I'll start with yellow. And I figured, you know, with the red, blue, and yellow basic colors, it's going to be cute. I start with yellow, and I do a lot of yellow because yellow, to me, is, is like the, the main color, the color that mixes with everything. Um, you put yellow and blue, you make green, yellow and red, you make orange, um, orange and yellow you make yellow orange or orange yellow yellow and blue of course you make green more yellow you make yellow green and so far but you really can't go wrong with yellow you just can't mix yellow and purple that makes brown but it kind of makes a cool looking brown so anyway i'll put a lot of yellow down here and then i take my blue and um just color in and it doesn't have to be neat color in this empty spaces here I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge this this uh, tile has a beveled edge that goes down and I noticed when I was doing this it did that because it, it, sli it slants down slightly the ink will roll onto the edges anyway so I'm not worried about coloring all the way to the edge and I'm trying to put as much ink down as I can now once the sharpie dries on the tile it's hard to color over it so do it quickly make it look messy don't worry about the mess but see if you go over a painted area it kind of just takes the takes the ink off but if you sit there and rub you might get a little bit more all right so I got a lot of yellow some blue and here we go with the red and I'm gonna put the red in these areas I think I need more blue I really do this part now it's really easy to take off the once it dries it's really easy to take off the the sharpie with just your finger it comes right off so I'm gonna do a little more blue I've been playing around so much with these it's they're starting to dry up not really dry up they just get uh, get a film on the tip from going over paint and stuff 
so and just turn it okay I also have this one so pretty I love this color it's uh, like a magenta let me see if I can but see it's a fine tip so I could be here all day coloring with this one to get enough ink down and it's just not worth it not right now anyways okay so uh, this is just a you know nut and pretty you take some 91% alcohol rubbing alcohol and you sprinkle it on top and you just let the alcohol pretty much do its thing okay look at that it's just traveling I hope you can see that I'm Try to, hmm, let's see, put it a little bit, try to, you know, you can see, it's about as high as magnification as I can go, now, you can take the tile and tilt it, And voila, look at that. Isn't that cool? And see what I mean? You, you, you need a lot of yellow because the, the blue really takes over. And what I was playing with earlier, too, is you can take a straw, a straw, a little bendy straw, and uh, blow. And what I'm going to do is, since there's so much blue in here, I'm going to blow some of this red into it let me see make sure I want to make sure I'm in the frame these things a little okay so watch this and here's a big dark spot I'm just going to blow straight into it Now, is that cool or what? Yeah. So you once you get a design there that you like, don't mix around too much because you're gonna end up with mud. I kind of overdid it on this one. You can see it it turned icky. But you know what? That's really really easy to, uh, to fix. You just sprinkle a little bit more alcohol on it and wipe it clean. You see what I mean? So you let that sit and dry. Now this this a little spot here, this white. Let me see if I can get some. I just did not want to go there. Maybe I could uh, color it in. Just attract some. There we go. Close that little spot up. I don't know if you could see that little spot. Can you see that little spot I was playing with? Oh, I'm talking about right here. This little spot. It was a little white spot. And I just went ahead and colored it. And then we have this little white spot here. I'm going to go ahead and color it in. And what it is is the alcohol in the ink is attracting the alcohol that's in the tile. And we'll bring it over. And it dries really fast because it's it's uh it's ninety one percent proof alcohol. Now, once it's dry, once it's dry, do not touch it. Do not go like this. Because look what happens. It just comes right off. Ta da! So when I saw that, I said, "Oh, what's the point? All that prettiness just like bloop." So what I did was I did another one. And I sprayed it with this stuff. Here we go. That's uh, two times ultra cover rust matte clear. Now this is what I used. Uh, probably any clear spray would work. And I did it on this one. 
and this one I'm already using as a coaster. I just did one coat. It does not come off. I've been using it as a coaster. No problem there. I just thought that was really cool. Now, if you can't find them with the cork on it, you can go to a hobby store and buy cork and just glue it to the back. But all this is was a plain white tile and it's a ceramic glaze, gloss glaze. Now this one's starting to dry. And it's looking pretty cool. I like it. And I hope that gave you guys some ideas. And thank you for watching.